Graduation day for the class of 2020 was certainly one to remember. At McGavick High School and most metro schools, students participated in some sort of a parade. As News Channel 5's Levi Ismail shows us, it was the first time many had seen each other in months, and they made the most of it. I think the most amazing thing of all of this was seeing just how well the students were able to adapt and embrace the opportunity to share this not only with their families, but with the faculty and staff of the school that they haven't seen in over two months. First call, let's go! 2020 has made a reputation of taking the otherwise ordinary graduate Anna Lee and making it into <laughs> nothing we've ever seen before. I did not ever think it would go as well as it has, to tell you the truth, because this is the first time we've done anything like this. Rayanne Dubay. Y'all be good, be safe. All right. At McGavick High School, one car per student. A simple yet effective rule, but as anyone knows, graduations are a family affair. So no matter where Auntie Marie has to be. We was on the side cheering everybody on. This is our second school we done done today. She'll be there. Graduate Kiera Carr. Cheering on the more than 500 names between four ceremonies on this campus alone. Congratulations! <laughs> From start to finish, pairs weave through familiar faces to the waiting arms of Principal Robin Wong. Congratulations! Yay! Congratulations to you! Who, for every student, had more than just a diploma, he had a story. Congratulations, sir. Good luck to you. Congratulations to you as well. It has been great. If I'd have known it was going to be this well, we might have been doing graduations like this forever. Just to see all of my teachers, it just made me so happy, and it made me proud that they're my teachers and I get to share this experience with them. Levi Ismail, News Channel 5.